Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, in this episode, um, we're going to be putting the final paving stone into the chicken pen and uh, completing the process. We also put a little um, catch on it as well because uh, one of my chickens escaped the other day. And um, you don't call them spring chickens for nothing, I can tell you. They were running all, she was running all around the plot until finally I got her in. Um, although saying that, they've been escaping out of the, the coop. We've been locking them up at night to get them used to going into the, the coop. And um, a couple of mornings back we come on and there was one of my girls running around, little um, Nova Brown with a yellow band on her foot. And I thought I missed her when I was putting them all in. Anyway, we... Um, we locked up that night, we come on the next morning um, with the intention of putting the final paving stone into place and um, there were six of them running around and I couldn't figure out the hell they got out at first and it hit me how they were actually getting out and um, it turns out uh, they was getting out of where the, the nest boxes is, the, the lid lifts up, well um, obviously that's where they were getting out of. Um, the the rest of them must have seen her do it once and then they all did it so I had them all running around my feet while I'm trying to set the uh, the paving stone in and it was quite funny really but yeah we got it done and uh, yeah that final pav paving stone has now um, completed the the pen however I thought I might as well show you putting the final stone into place you probably see me with the brush trying to shoo them off but yeah, this is what we were doing. So have a look at this and then we'll continue with the video. I just had to put the bolt on this side, to st the, the lock on this side to stop these buggers from all bailing out. We had an escape last night, as I will tell you later. Right, let's get this sorted out. Come on, you chick. Out the way. Chop, chop. Come on. Right, listen, you're not hiding. You can't do it. Look, what are you doing now? Go away. Go on, under there. Go on. And you, scram. Oh, what you gotta do? <laughs> Pull this one out of the way. I'm gonna drop the other one in in a minute. Just make sure there's no chickens under it. And no doubt, as soon as my back's turned, I'll be in that body. Look at them. Oi! Get out of it! Little buggers. I knew I should have done this when they was all locked up. I'll come down this morning to do it. Oi! Come on! Chop, 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 chop. Come on, skedabble. Hey! I'm bigger than you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo. Oh, this is going to be fun. Well, oi, now go on, go, 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 shoo, go. Bloody hell. Listen, I'm not, you're going to be sorry. Oi, oi. Oh, you yeah, little bugger. Listen, I'm not joking. Oh, this is going to be awkward. I'll let you know how, how, whether they survived or not. Here we go. <laughs> well, I didn't kill any girls. Did I? Buggers. Oh dear. Well, there you go. That's the final one in place. And these buggers here, I've tried my patience this morning. Absolute astonishing. How the hell, I've got to figure out how the hell they got out of that coop last night. I put them all in, come on this morning, doors are all shut, and half a dozen of them had got out. Now, when I figure out how they've done it, 
carrot is the little catch we've uh, added to the inside of the pen so we can lock it just to stop the um, the pen through the door from opening and um, because these chickens are a lot smarter than you would uh, you would think so uh, yeah we got it in we put a little latch on the door to, so when I'm inside I can actually lock it because the wind's blowing it open and um, the Nova Brown, uh, that little yellow one, the one with the yellow band on her foot, uh, she's very clever and she's been giving me the run around for the last three days so um, yeah that's why that lot, the little catch is on there, in fact this is her now, have a look at this little bugger, she's the one what's causing this me This is the angry. escape artist and she's a she's a turn away she's been got out the the coop twice on her own shown the rest of them how to get out i've had to put a brick on the back of the um the nest boxes now to stop her from pushing the lid up and i've had to put a catch on the door over there to stop her from pushing the door open and doing one when i'm inside yeah little bugger she is little nova brown she hasn't got a name yet guys not as um, ten of the others. I'm sure you're going to be able to help me out pick names for them all very soon. Well, what we're going to do, um, we're going to be naming these chickens and I thought I'd let you do the naming. Now, obviously there's one which we've already called Emma. There's 11 others that haven't got names yet, guys. They've all got little bands on the feet, so what I'm suggesting... Um, you all do is when you leave a comment why not leave just one name and what we'll do we'll put them all in the generator and we'll pick 11 names out so I'll let you you guys uh, pick the chickens names and uh, we'll do some sort of um, little plaque laminate it so we know which what's who's what and uh, basically what I'm doing it for so I can keep an eye on the girls so, so, to keep the same ones poorly um, I can look at a band and obviously we give her a name and um, we can follow her make sure she's you know she was recovering because they all look pretty much the same when um when they haven't got the bands on the feet so um yeah that's uh that's something for you guys to do uh, leave a name and uh, we'll, we'll we'll pick 11 in the next one and and uh, that's what we're going to be calling them uh, the other thing what i have come up what I, what i've been doing this week is um what happened, uh, we've had some really severe winds and um, it's blown all the rhubarb down. Let's have a look at this. This wind has absolutely trashed the rhubarb. So we're going to be putting a picket fence along here very shortly. Look at the state of that, that's what the wind's done. It's very windy today. The trees getting blown all over. But, um, yeah, we're going to soon be putting a picket fence all the way along here. And to, to lift all the rhubarb off the off the paths. So watch this space, we're gonna be building one very soon. As you can see it looks terrible. And I've decided to put a little picket fence right the way along just to, to lift the um the rhubarb up from falling over. However, um, I'm not gonna be actually fitting the, the fence in this one, but I'm gonna be making the fence in this one. I'm gonna show you how, how I've actually done this. A friend of mine, Jim, uh, he brought me four um, pallets over, really good pallets, and I thought I could make a real good picket fence out of them. So um, I'm going to show you several clips now of me actually um, doing this. Uh, the first clip would be where I've taken the panels off, the, the the legs off, and what have you, and then we'll come back after showing. Hi you guys, that clip. welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well. Um, We've got a few clips to show you um, what we've been doing over the last few days. Um, it's going to be a shortish sort of video, this one. Um, now, if you remember, we was doing inside the chicken coop and we was uh, putting paving stones down the side and we got right to the end and I put two two foots thinking that um, the three, three foots wouldn't fit. Well, how wrong was I? If I would have had my tape measure on me there and then, we could have done something about them and dropped um, the, the three by twos in and have it all over and done with however we didn't we measured them and we realized we could fit three by two fit perfect in the the gap so um come down a couple of mornings ago and um we put one in and i was after one more now a friend of mine bernard had one and he was after a two by two 
he had a 3b2 the two 3b2 that he had was perfect match for the ones I've already got we did a straight swap he brought it over and um, we we actually set it in we set it in I'm going to show you me doing that in a minute but I've got a story to tell you it's a funny one a few days ago we locked all the girls up in the coop put them all in the coop come down the next morning I've got this little Nova Brown with a yellow band on her foot running around the pen I thought oh my god I left her out last night she must be all dead lonely and everything anyway the next night which was this morning I uh, well that night I locked, I locked them all up then anyway, we come down this morning and there were six running about the pen so I'm scratching my head I thought how the hell they got out the door shut the, the things jammed up they can't possibly get out well they've, obviously they have got out so you um, is, here I am trying to put this um, paving stone into place. I've got a brush chewing the birds away. They think the bloody brush is a bat scrubber. And um, they're, they're, they're chasing after the brush. I'm trying to move them out of the way. I've got one hand trying to lower this 3 by 2 into a place. Anyway, you're going to see this little clip now. And you probably hear me mention about how, uh, what, what's gone on with the, these chickens. So uh, watch the clip. It's only a quicker. And I'll explain more about the chickens afterwards. So there we go, that was it, the ceremony is all over, we've got the last paving stone in, the jobs are good and we didn't kill any chickens or I wanted to kill one though, it wouldn't, she wouldn't, buggers wouldn't go and you know, get out of the way. And um, what we, we intended to do that morning was to come down, set it in place before we let the chickens out, unfortunately they've all escaped. And then I started to thinking how they got out and then it hit me. I not put there's a they normally have a brick on top of the back of the uh, the nest boxes to to weigh it down because it used to blow. And what happened is the first night this Nova Brown with the yellow band has figured out how to push it up and climb out. So the next night she's done the same thing, but the others have been watching what she's done, so they've all followed suit. So it's like the great escape. So I comes down that morning and scratching my head how the hell they've all got out. And anyway. Uh, there's a brick on there now although that wasn't the end of the story now this little yellow this little Nova Brown with a yellow band on her foot um, she's caused me all sorts of great all sorts of trouble I tell you um, now when I go into the pen the door it, it normally just it's a tight fit and we did it that way so it, it's tight but with this dry weather it shrunk the door and the doors moving slightly so the slightest breeze and the door opens well, you can imagine what happened next. This little Nova Brown pushes the door open, straight through the door. There she was, running round the plot. You've got me on one side, we've got me mate Jimmy on the other, we've got Jamie on the other. Anyhow, we managed to get her back in the, in the pen. And I decided to put a latch on. So here's the latch what we've just put on to stop them. When I'm inside now, I can put a latch on them to stop them getting out. So there you go, folks absolute crazy i tell you anyway um the next clip or set, set of clips i want to show you um i've, I've been making a, a picket fence yeah now what's happened is army rhubarb we've had some severe wind down it's been like um it's been like an air dryer for the last five days guys constant 25 30 mile an hour wind it's like that in your face all day and what it's done is flattened me a uh, rhubarb onto the onto the path at the back of the plot. Well, let me show you what it's done. So it looks bad, doesn't it? So lucky for me, um, a friend of mine dropped me four um, pallets off, brand new pallets they were, uh, the other day. And I thought, I'm going to make a picket fence for them. So um, you're going to see a couple of clips now where I take the, um, the, the legs off them. We save all that because we're going to be using them to fasten them together. And um, I'm going to see me out with a uh, chisel and taking them off. I'll show you a couple of clips of me doing that. And then what we'll do, I'll, you'll see me jump to the, the table. In fact, let me get to that point where we've got them all lined up against this shed. So you can see what we're working with, okay? So there you go, that's what we're working with. We've got, all the, we've got the panels all four with all the backs off. And all we have to do now is mark them out and cut them to size. However, normally I would use one of my jigsaws. Now, I bought a jigsaw ooh, a long time ago and I misplaced it. So I went out and bought another one, another one of these Makita. Now, they're not cheap. They're about 250 quid, guys. 
So I went out and bought myself another one. Now I ain't got lots of money, but it, it blew my mind. I thought someone had pinched it. Anyway, I decided to put this second one safe. And where I put it safe was right next to the other one. So here's my problem. I've put them safe again, guys, and I can't find the bloody, um, I can't find where I've, I remember where I've put them. Now, I know I've got them, I know they're, they're somewhere safe, but where they are, hell knows. You've probably seen me using these Makita um, jigsaws and battery operated ones, they are really good. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't find them, so what we've had to use is a rip saw to do this job. I've used a, so to, to do what I'm doing, I've um, got a little angle grinder, you see me cutting the backs of the, the, the nails off just then in that clip. We, don't, we didn't want to take the nails out because if we took the nails out the, the two end um, posts would fall out so we want to keep them in. So we, we cut them off with the angle grinder. Um, however, the tools what we're going to need to do this picket fence now to cut them to shape is a, a rip saw, um, a square, a pencil, a tape measure and a bit of wood and uh, a lot of faffing about. So, we're going to show you the clips, what we've actually done. I'm going to show you them all finished off. I'm going to show you a few clips, you know, show you what I've been doing. Um, then we'll show you the finished off results and we'll come straight back after that. So there you go, that's them all finished. All they needed then was a lick of paint. Um, there was that side of me shed and my mate come over and said, where'd you buy them from, Mac? Oh, I won't mind some of them. Where have you bought them? I said, I've just made them, mate. Just give out of it. I said, I've just made them. He said, that's a li li brilliant. He said, where'd you make them out of? And he explained where, where I've just got them off. My mate, Jimmy, who's given me. He said, you made them out of them planks? He yeah. He said, oh, my God. So, <laughs> he went away scratching his head. He thinks, well, he's got about 20 of these things. So, you can imagine what he's going to do there. Apparently, he can get me a few more. So, when he does, I'm going to finish, go right to the very end. And then we're going to just keep everything all tied back. Um, however... Uh, we stayed late one night, it's getting late now, but we stayed late until it was getting dark painting and we did one coat and then we did another coat the next morning and this is what they look like now. So we've got them all painted up, they're all done, all we need to do is um, get some scaffolding poles, bang them into the back, screw straight through them and fasten them to it. I've got some aluminium scaffolding pole there, we need to cut it to length, I've not done it yet, I've got so much other things to do. Um, that's the least of my problems, but we will come back to that and I'll show you me fitting it eventually. It might be this week, it might be next week. However, um, like I say, I've got lots and lots of things to do. Now, you probably hear me mention about the chickens. Now, there's, there's 11 of them without any names, guys. So what I decided to do, I hope you, you want to have a bash at this, or leave a comment, leave a name. It can be any sort of name, as long as, you know, it's... I'm not going to put any rude names into the generator, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the names what you guys name them. Just pick one name. We'll put them all in the generator. And the first 11 names come out, that's what we're going to name the girls. And we'll put little band, little, they've all got bands on them, so we'll give them a name to, to the band so we can keep an eye on them over the next, well, next five years. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a bit of fun. Um, the other girls, however, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm seriously thinking bring, bringing them back. Um, a friend of mine promises me he can get me some um, of these Harris fences. I really want the shorter ones. You get them half size. If I can get them, they'll be, in, they'll be where the potatoes are. As soon as the potatoes goes, there'll be another one of these um, pens going up, and uh, my girls are coming back. So uh, that's fingers crossed. That all works out. Pretty much everything seems to work out. I have a plan, so um, yeah, uh, there's every chance of them coming back, so fingers crossed, and uh, that's it for this one, so when you're leaving your comments, leave a name, uh, what you like to name one of them, and we'll stick them in, and if that name pops up in the generator, well, that name's going to be, that name's going to stick. So thanks for watching guys, I'm going to go and lock the girls up now, and um, see you all very soon. Um, the next episode we'll be doing a lot of potting on. Um, I'll show you me doing my wigwam. There'll be a few little tips in there as well. Um, I've got a lot of stuff, corn, all sorts of stuff to put on. I'll show you me doing a bit of that. So that's all to come in the next one. So Oh, and the names. We'll be doing the names as well. Um, if we don't... If, 
actually we might just do the names with something else so uh got plenty of uh clips to show you so uh until next time bye for now bloody alarms so there you go so all the legs are so all we had to do then was mark it out cut all the um the angles so here's me doing a little bit going to be cutting along here and cutting these v's out and then we're going to keep that that's the picket this is going um fingers uh once we've done all this we're going to do it four times so uh there's quite a lot of cuts and i'm not going to bore you so um as we go along i'll show you a couple of little cuts with this is going to be fun it's going to try and cut this on here on the table using a good old rip saw I also use my big saw but I haven't got it at the moment unfortunately last one and I've got to cut the V's then Yeah. Just cut these off. Now if you had the jigsaw it'd be so easy. Oh, this is fun. See how the picket's coming along now, can't you? Gotta do. Last one.
give them a bit of a sand up get all these bits picked up and uh, I think we'll be good to go Well guys, there's the first of four uh, the pickets. We've got three more to do, and uh, once we've done them, we'll give them a lick of paint. We'll put the battens across them to hold them all together, then we can think about something to hold all the uh, to hold them straight to keep all the uh, rhubarb off the off the beds so uh, yeah that's something we've got to work on but uh, yeah the first one first of many today we've uh, we've uh, built these four little picket fences out of um, out of pallets and uh, we're gonna give them a lick of paint shortly um, but so it's a bit too late at the moment I don't know we'll have a, we'll have a crack at see if we can paint one or two of them but uh, yeah, we think we did a good enough job. We have four of them there, so it's just a matter of giving them a lick of paint. And um, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to build uh, the picket fence uh, sometime this week uh, at the back of the allotments to keep the, the rhubarb from falling over. So there you go. So the last thing we needed to do was to give it a lick of paint, or give them a lick of paint. So we did stay behind a bit late that night um, and we finally managed to get them all um, all painted up. So this is what they look Guys, like Guys, I've got now. about an hour of light here so I'm just going to give these a quick painting for this uh, wood stain. These are what I've been making today. Uh, so I'm to open it. So, yeah, get him a flick of paint. Yeah, well, these have been made out of the stem scaffolding boards and um, the, the pallets. So now it's a time to give them a lick of paint. I've got no idea whether you're actually getting any of this. I'm going to stick them in the, the greenhouse to dry. Uh, it's getting dark, it's getting dark now. I've come down basically because I've got to lock the chickens up uh, of a night time. I've got to train them to go inside the coop and they're not going in the coop. They're roosting on top of the coop and everywhere else. So what I've got to do is wait for them until the last flickers of light. Most of them go in, but it's just the odd ones that don't want to go in. And, uh, well, sadly, uh, I've got to force them in, chase after them, put them into the coop. So, I thought, what the hell while I'm doing this? Uh, you know, it's something for me to do while I'm waiting. Turn it over yet, this. It's 
dead annoying when you see things what you've missed. Sure, Mr. Uh, loads, but uh, yeah, what we're gonna do now? Uh, just quickly flip it over. Oops. Do the bottom and flip it over again. Actually, I should have come down here a little bit earlier. I uh, might be able to do all these tonight. Yeah, it's looking promising. It's the, the light's starting to fade a little bit now. I'll probably do two of these. Do the rest in the morning if it's not raining. Again, it's all down to the forecast, what it's going to be like. much better in there in fact it goes off pretty quick this stuff We'll give it another when we when we actually put the fence together um, later on. We'll give it. Well, that's one of paint. four of the um, the picket fences that we've got. We're going to be attaching all four together, and uh, we're going to bang, bang some um, scaffolding poles into the ground. Then we're going to attach these um, this this fence into the poles. I've got some aluminium poles which I'm going to show you in a minute, and. Um, I say we bang that into the, the into the ground, and we're just going to screw straight through the wood into the poles, and a uh, couple of uh, couple of um, bolts with nuts to hold the fence to the the poles, and that's it. The jobs are good, and so all I've got to do is make sure I get the poles in straight. So I've got to run run a plumb line up. We're going to have to take all the uh, rhubarb that's fallen into the past. We're going to have to. Basically, we're going to have to um, pull all that lot up, um, but no big deal. We'll be making apple crumb, a rhubarb crumble with that, and um, once these are in, um, we won't have to worry about them falling on the paths anymore. So uh, yeah, that's the little picket fence. It's looking pretty good. So sometime in the next few few weeks we're going to be actually fitting them where the, to, to stop the rhubarb from falling over and it gives me a, a chance to be able to walk down the back of the um, the allotments without um, behind my pot without um, having to stand all over the rhubarb so uh, yeah it was a good idea and um, thanks to Jim we've managed to actually um, to, to build this fence so that's it really for this one. All I'm going to ask you to do is uh, remember uh, to leave a name, each one of you. Nice clean name, no naughty ones. I won't be able to put them, call them um, certain names obviously. So uh, choose wisely and leave your comments and we'll pick 11 names. The next episode we'll be doing a lot of potting out, planting uh, stuff. Um, I've got five more buckets, so I'm going to be doing um, some. I've got some car um, potatoes, so we're going to be planting them out um, very soon. Uh, showing me actually putting them in. So, in total, I think we have, um, I think there's about 45, 50 potatoes that we've done doing this in buckets this year. So, see you all in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to pour myself a nice flask and I'm going to watch that sun set in the, the east uh, before they head off home. So, uh, bye for now.